Did you know that your level of education, what you do for a living, and the amount of money you make has a direct impact on your nutrition? Socioeconomic status, which is a measure of an individual's or family's economic and social position based on education, income, and occupation, is a strong predictor of how healthy you can be. Furthermore, socioeconomic factors such as physical environment and race can directly and indirectly affect your nutritional status. All of these factors can increase your risk for undernutrition, weight gain, and obesity, which in turn may contribute to the development of some chronic diseases, including cardiovascular disease, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and diabetes. So let's take a closer look at a couple of people with different socioeconomic statuses. Here we have Carol, a young woman who attended a four-year college and earned a degree while receiving quality education. She was able to secure stable employment with a good income. She owns her own home and lives in a neighborhood with access to preventative services such as gyms, walkable streets, and healthy food. Where Carol lives and works will enable her to participate in healthy behaviors throughout her life. Conversely, there is Anna, who was not able to finish high school and is working at a low-paying job. Because of this, she is more likely to have poor health, which is made worse by her physical environment. Let's take a look at two elements that may affect Anna's socioeconomic status. The physical environment, which can be defined as where you live and your workplace, can be conducive to a healthy lifestyle or a barrier. Physical proximity to healthy food choices and preventative services is directly related to socioeconomic status. Because Anna never finished high school, she was not able to secure a stable and well-paying job, which led to her living in poor housing located in an unsafe neighborhood. In contrast, you have Carol who graduated from college, has a well-paying job, and lives in a safe and affluent neighborhood. Anna's physical environment lacks access and availability to healthy food, such as grocery stores and farmers markets, but has direct access to fast food restaurants and liquor stores. Carol's physical environment has two grocery stores, two local produce markets, a weekly farmer's market, and no liquor stores or fast food restaurants. In addition, Carol's neighborhood has a neighborhood association that pays for private security, ensuring that the residents are safe. It has tree-lined walkable streets and beautiful homes. Anna's neighborhood is unsafe due to a high level of crime, unsafe streets to walk, and a large number of abandoned buildings. All of these circumstances act as barriers to Anna developing and maintaining healthy eating behaviors and activities, which can lead to her developing poor nutritional status. Anna is Latina and Carol is Caucasian. This is important to note because race is an underlying factor to socioeconomic status. Families of color historically have significantly lower incomes and are more likely to live in unsafe and unhealthy low-income neighborhoods compared to white families. Because of this, racial and ethnic minorities often encounter minimal access to healthy lifestyle options. Therefore, they experience poor nutritional health more often than their white counterparts. In summary, socioeconomic status which is a measure of an individual's or family's economic and social position based on education, income, and occupation, is a strong predictor of how healthy you can be. Socioeconomic factors, such as physical environment, which can be defined as where you live and work, and your race, can also affect your nutritional status. All of these factors can increase your risk for undernutrition, weight gain, and obesity, which in turn may contribute to the development of some chronic diseases, 
including cardiovascular disease, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and diabetes.